Terraria's rise to fame is nothing short of spectacular. Releasing as the first IP from Indiana-based game developer Relogic back in 2011, Terraria finds itself as one of the few one-hit wonders of the gaming world. It's hilarious to think that huge corporations such as Activision, Bethesda and Epic Games have spent millions and employed thousands just to match the success of this relatively simplistic side-scrolling indie game. I guess you could say that Relogic caught lightning in a bottle and ran with it, all while keeping the game fresh and exciting with new content updates and crossovers for over a decade. This ensured their magnum opus maintained a spot in the sphere of modern gaming, while fundamentally keeping the original charm that made it so big in the first place. And so, this is precisely why hearing the words Terraria 2 does frighten me a little bit. This could be one of these cases where you really don't want to fix something that isn't broken. Let me explain. Before we delve into the nitty gritty and all the pros and cons surrounding the potential of a Terraria sequel, we need to look at all the plausible directions we logically could go at this crossroad in their career. You see, judging by some of Andrew Spinks' Twitter posts, there are three major paths that lie ahead for the future of Terraria and Relogic. Either they continue developing Terraria to version 1.5 and beyond, create the highly anticipated Terraria sequel, or create a brand new IP altogether. Now, the interesting thing about this is, it doesn't seem that like there's one popular opinion within the community, as I've seen a wide range of results from different polls. However, I think it's safe to say Relogic releasing a brand new IP would come as a bit of a shock. But more on that later. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the possibility of Terraria 1.5 and beyond. The premise of Terraria releasing updates indefinitely has always excited me, as it's one of the few games that could literally receive thousands more hours of content, yet still never feel creatively bankrupt. You see, the canvas Terraria is laid on is an artistic dreamscape, letting pretty much anything in human existence not feel out of place. What about a western-themed invasion full of cowboys? Sure. Or what about a friendly race of robots that take you to a new biome in space? Why not? Terraria's sheer overlap of different folklore from all around the world, such as Norse mythology, Greek mythology, and even some Arabian mythology, means creatively speaking, the sky is the limit when it comes to expanding on what's already there. And well, when it comes to what's not there, mods like Calamity have proven that you don't need to shake up the formula too much when going past the Moon Lord. I've always imagined how cool it would be to revisit the Wall of Flesh at some point. Maybe like a beefed up gold mechanical version, which one's beaten, unleashes a whole new wave of evil upon your world, just like hard mode. You could then introduce more powerful versions of hard mode bosses, like a crazy phantom version of Pontera, or maybe a heavily armoured golem. Wait, no, this is literally Calamity. Yeah, while I can't deny that Calamity has done a lot of what I've wished for, I'd love to see Relogic's implementation of this. I think it could take the vanilla game to the next level. Of course though, this is all easier said than done, as there are a bunch of factors against the continuation of Terraria updates. For one, as the devs have implied time and time again, they just want to move on. For goodness sake, they have been working on this game for a large chunk of their life, and simply put, if they're burnt out, they're burnt out. Secondly, Terraria is built using an ancient Microsoft XNA framework that is technically very limiting. Terraria's code has been described as a spaghetti mess on multiple occasions, and due to these limitations, sacrifices have had to be made in the past. And while you may argue that modders have had to endure the same limitations, I'm sure this has only restricted creativity, which will significantly put the devs off continuing. Okay, so, with that in mind, let's explore the premise of a Terraria sequel. For all we know, Terraria 2's creation has already confidentially been confirmed, but as of right now, judging by some of Andrew's posts on Twitter, it appears that Relogic is still dabbling over the idea of a sequel. So let's say it did go ahead, and in a couple of years' time, we have Terraria 2 in our hands. Now, the first major thing that worries me about this is before even crossing the start line, it's competing against Terraria 1, that's had 11 years of development. What I mean is, if Terraria 2 is going to be basically the same game in terms of genre, mechanics, and dimensions, it will have a hell of a lot of catching up to do to even come close to the amount of gameplay offered in Terraria 1. Like, while I have no doubt a launch of another Terraria game will feel very fresh and exciting, it's unlikely that the depth and complexity of its prequel will be matched in a shorter development time, but I could be underestimating their skills. The second major thing that worries me is simply just the horrendous track record sequels have in the gaming world. I think it's safe to say that The Last of Us Part 2 had some mixed feelings, and had vouched that Naughty Dog's reputation was in a far better place before unnecessarily expanding the story. Of course, it'd be unfair to say the game was straight up bad though, as in a vacuum it was deemed a very solid experience, but the common consensus was that after such a legendary finale in the first game, a follow-up would only ruin many of the characters people had fallen in love with, some even deeming it's not canon. 
A similar thing can be said for the Halo franchise. And while it might not be exactly the second game in the series that compromised their reputation, it was instead the countless unnecessary attempts at recapturing the charm of the original Bungie-era titles, long after that ship had sailed. In response to Halo 4 being deemed the second worst video game sequel of all time on the Top 10's website, a commenter claimed, 343 killed the franchise with this game, then violated the corpse with Halo 5. Stick to the Bungie games because these are the real Halo games. And the worst part is, the list could go on. Countless more franchises have fallen to a similar fate when it comes to unnecessary sequels that do more harm than good. However, as mentioned previously, from a technical standpoint, Terraria 2 could really go above and beyond. And I think it's at this point that we need to address the elephant in the room. Of course, I'm talking about Terraria Overworld. For those who don't know, Terraria Overworld was a cancelled Terraria sequel that made it surprisingly far in its development. What this resulted in was a pretty good tease of some of the improvements we can probably expect in Terraria 2, like the more beautiful graphics, physics-based grappling, and much more complicated systems. But unfortunately, one of the reasons this was scrapped was because it was never going to reach its potential in any sort of reasonable time of fashion. Which for me at least is a huge red flag suggesting we won't be seeing Terraria 2 for a very long time. But I sincerely hope I'm wrong. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's delve into the most outlandish of the three options. A brand new game. When it comes to speculating what Relogic could do next, it's very hard to imagine considering their only real history in the dev space is Terraria. But it does seem that if they were to make a new IP, it would stay along the lines of a sandbox open world RPG and probably wouldn't be a first-person shooter. In a poll Andrew posted a while ago, he asked what out of a list of four games we'd rather see a remake of. This along with some other posts including games he's obviously inspired by, gives us a pretty good idea of what genre of game we can expect from them next. Whether or not a Castlevania-inspired game would play like Terraria is a whole other story though, as I'm sure the devs themselves are just as intrigued as we are. After all, they have spent 11 years more or less working on the same project. One thing we're all probably thinking is though, how awesome it would be to see a 3D Terraria-esque game. And no, Minecraft doesn't count. Just think of what they could do with a large three-dimensional open-world RPG placed in the same universe as Terraria. In my opinion, the best way to go about this would be to detach the identity of the game away from Terraria, calling it something entirely different, but still keeping many familiarities that players have come to love from the first game. This way, the risk of damaging any previous triumphs becomes much less, as its association to Terraria is diluted down. But if they're knocking out the park, they'll have not one, but two of the best games ever made. Okay then, now we've looked at each of the directions Relogic can take, I just wanted to say that whatever way they go, I'm sure it'll be the right choice. If anything, the community's mixed concern for a Terraria sequel only goes to show how enthusiastic we all are about it, and I would absolutely hate to see it flop. Just like how nobody wanted Halo 4, 5 and Infinite to feel like a shell of its past self, or for Battlefield 2042 to become the kid all the other games laughed at. I think as well, it's worth mentioning that many sequels have triumphed in success and been some of the most iconic games ever. Just Cause 2 utterly demolished the first game in every single area. Borderlands 2 is significantly favoured over the first, and the same can be said with Assassin's Creed 2. You know, the list could go on, and so I truly think we're in good hands, despite my cause for concern. After all, Relogic did bring us 11 years of greatness with Terraria 1. I'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts about Relogic's next steps down below. Are you part of Terraria 2 gang, or would you much prefer to see a continuation of updates like me? This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.